Hey all the team, my name's Ben, and today we're going to talk about why we give adrenaline with anaphylaxis. So if someone has anaphylaxis, it's a life-threatening, huge immune response to an allergen. An allergic response which involves the release of inflammatory mediators from our mast cells and basophils, and it involves two or more body systems. So this inflammatory response is going to cause a massive amount of vaso dilation and if we vasodilate too much our blood pressure is going to drop and it's also going to cause bronchoconstriction so our airways are going to get tight so it's going to be more and more difficult to breathe so why do we use adrenaline so remember if you've got an anaphylactic friend he may have an EpiPen to get stabbed with when he has an anaphylactic reaction so that epi stands for epinephrine which is another word for adrenaline so here we have all our adrenergic receptors and let's see which ones are going to be important when it comes to anaphylaxis. So if we have a look here, our alpha-1 receptors, they're on the smooth muscle of our blood vessels and it's going to cause vasoconstriction. So if your patient is having falling blood pressure, then our alpha-1 receptors with the vasoconstriction is going to increase total peripheral resistance and therefore help maintain their blood pressure. Then our beta-1 receptors, um, the SA node of the heart, the AV node of the heart, and then the myocardium of the heart, remember beta-1, one heart, they're going to increase heart rate through a chronotropic effect. They're going to increase heart rate by increasing electrical conduction speed, which is dromotropy, and they're going to increase stroke volume because the beta-1 receptors on our myocardium will increase contractility, which is inotropy. So here, we're increasing heart rate, we're increasing stroke volume, which increases our cardiac output, which again is going to help increase blood pressure. The other thing that's super important with anaphylaxis is our mast cells and basophils are releasing inflammatory mediators, causing the huge immune response, the huge anaphylactic reaction. Our beta-2 receptors are going to stabilize our mast cells. So stabilizing mast cells means stop them from degranulating and stop them from exploding out the inflammatory mediators like histamine. The other thing that's very useful in our beta-2 receptors is they cause bronchodilation of our bronchial smooth muscle. So bronchodilation means we open up the airways. So there we go. That is how adrenaline helps a patient with anaphylaxis. Happy study, team.